Today I'm going to teach all of you at home how to wipe the data off of your Mac. This can come in handy in several different types of situations. Now there are two different ways that you can do it. So my recommendation is that you watch this whole video before you proceed. The first method is by far the easiest, which is a simple way to wipe the user data off of the Mac. This is done by simply creating a new user with administrator privileges, signing into that new account, and then deleting the old account. What this will do is essentially preserve all of the software, but it will wipe out the user data. So for example, let's say that you're a parent and you want to give your computer to your kid. This means they don't need to repurchase all of the software, but all of your data, for example, emails, documents, photos, will be gone, provided that you save them originally in your home folder, which is the default. Now there is a downside that you should be aware of if you decide to proceed with this method. And that issue has to do with running updates. See, as time goes by, those pieces of software are going to need to be updated. And so in order to do that, the new owner would need access to your Apple ID login credentials. So if it's your child, it may not be a problem. But this is something that you should absolutely consider before proceeding with this method. Now, if you decide that it's right for you, let's go through those steps again, but a bit slower. So the first step in removing the user data is we're going to need to be logged into the admin account, whatever that would be on your computer. And from there, we're going to go to the Apple icon that you see here at the top left corner of my screen. And we're going to go here into where it says System Preferences. From there, we're going to go to where it says Users and Groups, which should be down here at the bottom left. And from there, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to unlock this little lock. So just click on it. You'll need to type in the password to the admin account and hit enter. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little plus symbol here. And we are going to create a new user. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that we go here and change it from standard to administrator. Type in the person's name, the account name, and the password. Very, very important that you remember what that password is. And if you like, I would recommend you put a little password hint without actually using the word itself and hit create user. I'm not going to do that right now. So when you are done with that, when it's created that new user account, what you would then do is from this account that you're logged into, you click on the Apple icon and go to log out. Now that's going to kind of pull back and you're going to now go into the brand new account that you just created. So pretend that we're there now. You then would go back to the exact same place where we just were. We're going to go back into system preferences, go back to users and groups, unlock the little lock icon. But this time what you would do is click on the name of the account that would be removed. Okay, whatever that would be and you'd hit the little minus symbol right here, which is currently grayed out. Okay, and that is going to wipe out the user data. Please note, it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to actually clear it out. Um, so in order for it to make that change, you won't be able to immediately close this window, um, but it will take usually only a couple of minutes for it to finish that process. Now please understand that if you do proceed, you are about to wipe out all of the data off of your Mac, and there is no going back. So please, no nasty comments that you didn't realize that format means erase. Let's continue. To fully wipe the data off your Mac, we're going to start off by shutting down your computer all the way. So Apple icon and shut down. When it's done, you're going to hit the power button and immediately hold down the command key and the letter R, as in Randy. The next screen will bring you to uh, an option where you can select the language, and from there you'll see this screen. We're going to select the bottom option, which is Disk Utility, and hit Continue. On the next screen, we're going to go to where it says Apple SSD. Yours might be slightly different as far as how it's named, but it should be up there at the top left, and we're going to go to Erase. From here, we're going to name what we want the hard drive to be called, so my advice is to call it what it would be standard which is Macintosh HD. Leave format and scheme alone, hit erase, and when it's done, you're gonna hit the little red dot at the top left to close and go back to the original menu. From here, go into reinstall Mac OS and it will walk you through the rest of the steps. That's it. Uh, one little disclosure that I did want to make 
Erasing the data off of your Mac through either of these methods will not 100% wipe out the data. What you are essentially doing is you are making it so that your computer has permission to write over existing data. However, advanced software can retrieve that data. Well, I hope that this video helped all of you at home. And keep in mind, if you want to learn how to use your Mac better, you can now take a private lesson with yours truly. Just go to techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons for details. This is David A. Cox, class dismissed.